Hello and welcome to Retro Bike Dublin. Today we're looking at a Yamaha Cero XT225. It's the second of the two Ceros that we have. The one I shot was a red and white. This one's pink and purple and white, I guess. It's a colour scheme, mostly white, but again, very low kilometres, only 7,000 kilometres, so around 4,000 miles on the clock. Really, really good condition as these bikes go. Front tyre then is good. As you can see, front mudguard then is really nice condition, some little things like that, but nothing major. Front grab rail, good. Front headlamp is perfect. Original mirrors. Front gaiters here are original and uh, matching. Some slight signs of aging on the front forks, nothing too major. Front disc with the disc guard on it still there. No rusting on the exhaust at all. Engine area looks really good too. Very clean. And the left hand side side panels here also very clean. The tank here has a little on these plastics, this is just plastic tank is here, has a little bit of the peeling going on. Cero sticker here, you know it's been from Japan anyway, 7,000 kilometers. All the lights working as well. Yamaha seat, original, but no rips or tears. The exhaust is in really nice condition as well. As you can see, up and over exhaust. Rear swing arm is perfect condition, rear brake, or rear uh, disc I should say, and the rear tyre is okay as well, as you can see, a bit of wear but probably do for the while, 1993, indicators are original at the back and the rear mud guard is in really good condition, the stickers all looking good, Side gra left hand side grab rail is good too, chain guard is good and original, chain itself is good. This left hand side all good as well. The tank is in really good condition again, some of the side signs are peeling in the sticker. The tank itself has no marks whatsoever. Again, no rips or tears on the seat either. Going down into the front left hand side of the bike then. Gators here good. Again signs of little signs of age on the front forks and the front discard. Apart from that, that's really it for the visual inspection. We'll now move on to the ride along. All right, we're away on the second of our two uh, Yamaha XT225. We're going to do a slightly different ride today than uh, I normally do, just because uh, I'm sick of the fucking traffic out there. So we'll just try to do a bit of an internal job. But yeah, as I said, she's a very desirable little uh, trials bike. Well, not trials, but a kind of green laning. I would probably more so say than anything I'm gonna take it slightly easier because these these tires are a bit more off-roady than they are on roadie but only uh, 7,700 kilometers on the clock very low kilometers she's running lovely as you can see flying through the gears really nicely and uh, Everything working on it, we're trying to do the indicators here, that's the right indicator here. So let me just turn around, oopsies, and get into first. And uh, there's the right, and there's your left indicator that's working at the back as well. I always check before I go out anyway, but uh, she's running really, really lovely. Up to 60 kilometers an hour there, really quickly, nice into third gear. But uh, yeah, she's a really nice colour scheme as well, quite rare uh, in this. We have seen a few Irish ones that come in the green, uh, just because uh, people uh, obviously like to stay patriotic. But uh, we'll test the brakes out here now. Uh, so we're going up to 50 kilometres an hour from brake. I could be pressing a lot harder, but and that's the rear brake. I'm going to turn in here left. I'm going to show you the seating height position and so on, do a little walkabout around the, around the bike itself. So seating height, I'm six foot two, very easy to get onto. My legs are completely bent. So anyone, you know, of any size should be able to get on this bike, no problem at all. Uh, she's not threatening at all if you're starting off. She would be, or she would make a great town bike as well. She sits really, really nicely as you can see everything on her everything original super super well put together little bike very hard to find in this kind of condition 
uh, with only 7,000 kilometers on the clock. But uh, that's kind of been it for this little uh, runabout on the Cerro XT225. It's a uh, really, really nice little bike. Uh, if you have liked the video, please do leave a like. Also, uh, if I haven't answered all your questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to them as fast as possible. And uh, finally, if you haven't already, subscribe.